In this video example, I will show you how to use our SOX5 client and the NIM network. As a disclaimer, this will be done against one of our test environments and focus in on the following. How to install the NIM SOX binary, initializing the binary, a small overview on how to run the network requesters, starting the SOX5 client, then utilizing an application like Keybase to send messages through the MixNet. To download the binary, simply navigate to nimtech.net forward slash download. Once on the page, scroll down to the network components and here you have a selection of binaries to install. Select the NIMSOX5 client and save it to your machine. Alternatively, you can clone the NIM repository and build the binaries yourself. In this example, I would demonstrate using the binaries from the NIM repository. This video won't go into the depths about building the solution, but I will assume that you have prior knowledge of some Linux-based commands and building Rust projects. Once the solution is successfully built, I should have the SOX5 client available at my disposal. I am now going to initialize a new configuration. The required arguments for configuring a new setup. It takes an ID parameter and a provider parameter. Let me show you what the provider parameter is. The provider that I've just passed into my initialization within my SOX5 client is generated from my network requester. If you have access to a server, you can run a NIM network requester, which allows NIM users to make outbound network requests from my server. I won't go into the depths about actually instantiating and running your NIM client as it can be shown in the documentation on this website, which is nimtech.net forward slash docs forward slash stable forward slash run NIM nodes forward slash nodes forward slash requester. Once you initialize your NIM client, you will then be given this client address. This is the address that you would need to provide when instantiating your SOX5 configuration. Now back to the configuration. I'm now going to initialize this. Now that I've successfully initialized my profile, I can now run my NIM SOX5 client. As you can see, I have now started my SOX5 client and you can see that the client has started to listen on localhost port 1080. I'm going to use the Keybase application as this is allowed in the whitelist setting the current configuration for the network requester. Within Keybase, I'm going to go to the settings tab, change the proxy to SOX5, save the proxy settings, go into chat, and as you can see below, we're starting to see traffic come through on the mixnet. 